some cream cheese wontons today including some sides like some rice and some broccoli and things like that but the main thing that I'm going to be showing you guys is my egg rolls and it's just going to be some regular egg rolls like chicken egg rolls and then some cream cheese wontons before we go ahead and get this video started make sure you guys go ahead and get this video a thumbs up and subscribe to your girl's channel and let's get to it guys all right so I already got all my ingredients I got my chicken, I have it cut up. So they, I couldn't find any ground chicken at the store. So you gotta work with what you got. You gotta do what you gotta do. So I cut the chicken up really small into really small pieces so they can fit in the egg roll wraps. This is the main ingredient, right? The egg roll wraps, we need those. And then some soy sauce. And hey, we're gonna cheat. I got some coleslaw that I'm going to be filling up in these egg roll wraps. And then for the cream cheese long tongs, we got some cream cheese, of course, and then we got the wonton wrap. So let's just go ahead and get started. Yeah. And you ready? Yeah. You excited? Yeah! You ready to eat, huh? You hungry? Yeah. Yes. All right, so I'm gonna start off by pouring some olive oil in the pan to cook the chicken and then some vegetable oil into the pot to start frying the um, egg rolls and the wonton wraps. And then I went ahead and poured the chicken in the pan and I'ma just let this cook. And then I'ma go ahead and get my salt and pepper and then sprinkle some salt and pepper onto that chicken as well. And now I'm just waiting for the chicken to just cook and all the way through. All right, so now that the chicken is pretty much done, I'm gonna go ahead and transfer it from this pan to this bowl so that I can now put the coleslaw in the pan and start cooking up the coleslaw. And then later on, I'ma just add it all together. I don't think I'm gonna eat all of this, so I, I believe I'm gonna just use like half of this. I'm do like one more handful. And while this is cooking as well, I'm gonna go ahead and add my soy sauce. <laughs> You know, you can add however much you want, just I it or whatever. And let this continue to cook for about one minute. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and add my chicken in. And just mix that all together. And let that cook for another minute or so. Now that this is done, I'm going to go ahead and transfer this from the pan to the bowl. And of course I need a bigger bowl. I don't know what I was thinking with that little bitty bowl. All right, now I got everything ready to start making the egg rolls. I got my egg to fill everything and then I'm just gonna add a little bit of water in here. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and add some of this to my wrap. And then, go ahead and fold these two. I'm try to wrap it a different way. Then this one. Hold on, I'm gonna have to show y'all a closer look in a second. Cause I don't really know how to explain this. I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this. Just add it. So it's like an envelope. I'm just folding it like an envelope. And then turning it all the way. And then boom. I have my wrap right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some filling in. Make sure I'm not getting too much juice on here. Okay, so that's like two spoons. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take both sides. So this side, pull it in, 
that side, pull it in, then take the top part and then wrap it around and then fold it under there like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this egg and seal it all together. And as you guys can see, I like to add a generous amount of stuffing in my egg rolls. I don't really like those skinny egg rolls. I like for my egg rolls to be stuffed with meat or whatever that I am filling it with. I just like for it to be stuffed because I wanna be able to bite into it and get a mouthful of everything. And after wrapping my egg rolls, as you guys can see, I don't know if you guys can tell after I did the last two, but I do like adding some of the egg onto the egg roll after I wrap it, just to make sure that everything is sealed. I already have my oil heating up, getting ready for the egg rolls. Go ahead and throw that in there. All right, so this is how my egg rolls are turning out so far. They look so good. They look so delicious. Like, they're super crunchy. But I got them on this rack because I don't want to put them on a paper towel so that they get soft. I want them to still stay crunchy. By the time I am done cooking everything, I will still be able to get that crunch once I bite into it. So, but they are looking so good, y'all. Y'all just don't understand. Like, oh my gosh, this is like perfect. All right, now I'm gonna get ready with the cream cheese wonton. I got the cream cheese, I got the wonton wraps, I got the onion powder, and then I got some sugar. And so I'm just gonna mix the cream cheese, onion powder, and sugar in this bowl. And then that's gonna be the filling for the wrap. Now my cream cheese wasn't exactly at room temperature, so it was a little bit harder to mix. But you wanna make sure if you plan on making you some cream cheese wontons that you get your cream cheese at room temperature so it'll be soft and easier to mix. And then I went ahead and added just one tablespoon of the onion powder and sugar and then mixed it all together. And now I'm about to go ahead and add the cream cheese filling to the wraps and then I add about one spoonful. I add a generous amount of cream cheese into my wonton wraps as well because again, I like to get a mouthful when I bite into it. Now I'm just taking some of the same egg mix and placing it on all four sides of the wonton wraps. And once I am done doing that, I'm going to go ahead and take the wonton wraps and just fold it in half. And that's how I'm going to seal the wonton wraps making sure that both sides are sealed on each side. There's no holes poking through, there's no cream cheese poking through. So everything is done, now it's time for a taste test. I'm just trying to give y'all a better look at how these really turned out. I don't think this camera does it any justice, but I know y'all heard that crunch when I was biting into that egg roll and into the um, cream cheese wontons. Like, yes, I did that. But anyways, if you have enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead and give me a thumbs up, and I will see you all on the next video.